Hey everyone, the Dark Knight is here. In 1985, prosecutors Julio Cesar Stracera and Luis Moreno Ocampo fights a criminal case against military dictators who ruled Argentina from 1976 to 1983. When Stracera is unable to recruit lawyers to form his prosecution team, then Ocampo joins his cause and shockingly recruits a bunch of young law graduates and amateur lawyers to take on the most powerful people in the country. The Argentine military led by Jorge Rafael Videla seized the political power during the 1976 coup against Isabel Perón. When the military established their government, they proceeded to launch their state terrorism campaign, which is famously known as the Dirty War, that lasted until 1983. Under this campaign, around 9,000 to 30,000 civilians including the supporters of Peron, were either killed or forcibly disappeared. Many of the victims were tortured and were put to extrajudicial murder. For these intolerable crimes against humanity, the trial of the Huntas happened two years after the military dictatorship collapsed in 1983. Similarly, after losing the Falklands War against the British, this trial was a historic moment because for the first time, a civil justice convicted a military dictatorship. And this trial is what the film Argentina 1985 is based on. The film, with all its seriousness, finds a narrative way that is convincing for the audience. It is a well-directed film. In 140 screen minutes, the film covers the difficulties the prosecutor Stracera faced the efforts of the young prosecution team in building a strong case against the criminals, the addresses of the victims that were painful, and, and many more. Stracera is the central figure of the film, where the writing acknowledges how stressful it was to take the case as well as look after the family. Ocampo, who worked with him in this trial, was also severely under pressure there is a sequence where Ocampo is scared of something bad occurring in the court. I like that part of giving the audience a horror image of the prosecutors who are playing with fire and are unable to hold their temporary mental catastrophe. The courtroom drama is absolutely not dramatic to the usual standards that we often watch. And due to this reason, the audience will get the real feel of the proceedings. The real heart of the film is in the middle that will boil the blood of the audiences when they will listen to the tortures the witnesses suffered when they testify in the cross-examination phase, particularly of Adriana Calvo. As far as the accuracy is concerned, the film has used footage to level the dramatization. A few aspects of the film are true, but some of the aspects uh, looks to be exaggerated. For example, the prosecutor and uh, Eduardo Viola uh, making insulting gestures, judges at the restaurant, Judith mocking the lawyer, and, uh, and the interviews of the young graduates, etc. Stracera's closing argument in the film is around nine minutes of screen time. Nine minutes of screen time, which indicates how significant that was for the justice and for the people of Argentina. The audience may feel that the closing argument by Stracera uh, had no intensity and Stracera was just reading the argument. But in reality, this is exactly how Stracera addressed to the court. 
spectators getting jubilant and emotional with a standing ovation is all in the footage. The makers surely had plenty of options to entitle the film. The most fitting title for this film could have been Juicio de las Juntas, Trials of the Juntas, but they chose Argentina 1985. This leads to a few theories that, that makes this title more fitting than Juicio de las Juntas. The most compelling theory for me is that this year, 1985, was the defining moment in the country's history that learned from the political mess and shaped the country for, for better economic and social growth. I'm not sure how often an Argentine or Spanish film has dramatized this event before, but I feel this was the need of the hour. The fall of the military dictatorship in this country is considered the re-independence of the country. This historical drama successfully highlights how the judicial system of a country sets an example for the others and bring dangerous people to justice. I wanted to watch a short dramatization of this military violence to initiate this film. Looks incomplete without it. But in all sorts, Argentina 1985 has set the bar high for the courtroom dramas and addressed their national crisis with justice. Nunca más.